like a bell cut. <laughs> Cabin is secure. We land in Hamburg in two hours. Team Watt remains at it until Watt right touchdown. Vasily's waiting for you, Father. He's expecting an answer from me. Team One moving. I don't like him. No one does. That's why he's good at his job. What will you tell him? The truth. He won't want to hear it. He has no choice. I'm the president. I'll see you at dinner. Mr. President. Vasily. Hello, Mr. President. President. Gentlemen, we have only two choices. Peace or war. Life or death. For the sake of our children, we must seek peace <sighs> with the West. Mr. President, now is not the time to appease our enemies. We destroy our enemies when we make friends with them. If we cannot end our differences, at least... That's gunfire! Hijackers are attacking the plane! The guns have been Mr. released! Mr. President, get down! Team 3, start the report! We need backup! Report. Everyone down! Protect the president! Code red! I repeat! We're taking the president to the safe room! Come on, Agent Harkov! We have to find the president! Okay. 
Looks like Makarov just played his next hand. If he puts himself back on the grid, he wants it to be known. So where do we start hunting? Africa. Makarov's been using local paramilitary group to move shipments into Sierra Leone. From there, they go towards Morocco and into Spain. He's moving north. Right towards Her Majesty's doorstep. What's the cargo? I don't know, but it's important to him. Then I want it. We can use the river to get in close. There's a factory in the camp where they store the shipments. The PRF's been waging genocide in the Highlands for months. They'll be everywhere. Makarov wouldn't let this travel lightly if it didn't serve a greater purpose. And chances are the bastard will be there personally to see things off. If he's back on the grid, then so are we. Just outside the village. Copy. I'll pick you up in one hour. 